Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to paint this flower and I'm gonna, I sketched it out using the mapped watercolor pencil. This is warm gray. So it's a gray colored watercolor pencil and it happens to be a student grade brand. So this is the reference image that I'm gonna use for this painting. And I got it from the Joy of Botanical Drawing, a step-by-step -step guide to drawing plants and flowers. And it's written by a lady called Wendy Hollander. Um, and her work is outstanding. I actually accidentally came across her uh, botanical drawings. And that brought me to her book and her YouTube channel, which I'll add a link to in the video description if you want to check that out. And I actually wanted to buy the uh, paper paper copy of this book, but unfortunately, delivery is really bad to my country during these days. We are hit with the third wave of COVID. I'm not going to be able to get this uh, online and get it delivered to where I live. So I thought I'll just go through the um, the preview of her ebook, and that's how I came across. I, I got a lot of information just from the preview of the ebook. And also I came across really nice uh, botanical illustrations and also things that I want to try myself. So this is the flower that I'm going to I'm going to paint today. So as you can see, she has um, drawn different parts of the flower separately, which I found very interesting for a plant uh, illustrator to be able to observe and uh, study different aspects of a subject first thing I'm gonna do is to get my gray warm gray color pencil it is a watercolor pencil and I'm gonna do some shading so I'm totally new to botanical illustrations so this is probably one of the very few ones that I have done um, this is how she kind of starts her own illustrations because when you're doing realistic uh, paintings you have to get your value scale correct otherwise your image is not gonna look realistic if you take any of your images and uh, convert it into grayscale using some software like photoshop and if the grayscale doesn't look right in your eye uh, that's a very good uh, very good indication that your value scale is wrong because a value is uh, different to the color a lot of beginners uh, like myself the a primary mistake we make is that we jump into the colors because that is what we can see value is the amount of color that you can uh, you have to apply to each area of the image so that it creates this natural realistic contrast so getting the lightness and the darkness of the grayscale image right is one of the primary challenges of realistic uh, paintings. So as I said, I'm using my Derwent Intense color pencils to paint this. And I'm starting off adding a bright uh, orange color into the, into the flower petals. You can see just how bright and beautiful the Derwent Intense color pencils become when you mix them with water. I think I have never seen uh, color pencils like the Derwent Intense. I mean, I have seen bright colors, but this is next level brightness. <laughs> uh, I guess the reason is because it's a it's an ink based medium, as opposed to the normal water color pencils or the wax based color pencils. The Derwent Intense is an ink solution. I think Derwent is the only brand that makes ink based color pencils. So because of that inky quality of their colors and the pigment, they, they just light up when you mix them with water and also they dry permanent. So you can add multiple layers on top of each other without any problems. So because of those reasons, I really like the Derwent Intense color pencils and uh, mostly for these botanical kind of illustrations i have noticed that a lot of youtubers use the derwent intense color pencils 
I have done a lot of paintings and even done a detailed review of these colors of the Derwent Intense color pencils so I'll put them up on the cards as well as in the video description if you want to check them out I guess I might, uh, I'm thinking of creating an entire playlist just for the Derwent Intense because I have a whole lot of videos on my channel where I use these color pencils and uh, interestingly most of those videos are uh, where I have done uh, botanical kind of illustrations. The reason is because now for botanical illustrations you have to get some of those fine details so I find that easier with color pencils because with the pencil tip being very uh, very narrow and uh, sharp it's easier to draw details with them um, rather than oil pastels for example. And I'm actually thinking of getting the bigger set of the Derwent Inktens although the bigger set has like very little variation with some of the colors in the smaller set. The, I have the 36 color pencil set I guess. Again notice how the colors of the leaf just come to life when, we, when you mix them with water. They jump out of the page. It's that bright and very beautiful. After seeing a color chart from the bigger set and the slightly smaller set that I have, and some of the some of the colors are almost the same, but because I use these pencils quite a lot, I thought uh, getting the bigger set will be a worthy investment. Unfortunately, it's not available yet in my country, but I guess very soon they might bring that down. The 72, I think the bigger set has 72 colors, so you'll get a much uh, bigger variation and much bigger collection. And it is only with color pencils you can get these like fine lines that you see on the petals. Uh, it will be very difficult to do that uh, using any other medium. Maybe with watercolors if you put a lot of layers on top of each other but with these Derwent Intense pencils it is it's quite easy um, because it's a pencil. Alright so I'm done and this is how the flower looks. I'm not completely happy with it compared to how it was in the original illustration. This seems just a little bit too uh, flat for my taste. But I guess this is a very good starting point and this is considering that I'm not an experienced botanical illustrator. Um, and at some point I want to buy that book that I showed you earlier and uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time with more art videos. Bye bye.